Welcome to Yeoman Stadium in New Orleans, home to the Tulane Green Wave. And as this city likes to say, let the good times roll. And the Tulane fans are certainly ready for that. What we have in store today, a clash between a pair of AAC squads. As we'll see, the Rice Owls taking on a team recharged after a much needed bye week, the Tulane Green Wave. Glad to have for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. We'll kick it off to get this game underway. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So Rice's offense takes the field. And this guy is a big-time star. Just an electricity follows him onto the field. He's a workhorse, too, Reese. This is a definition of a bell cow running back. He can carry the load for his offense and put his football team on his back. And, oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. They came out humming on this drive, and now it's first down from the 36. Motion from the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. They'll run the screen. Turns it on at midfield. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. One of the things I love about this offense is they're very versatile in their passing attack. They throw to receivers and tight ends, and the screen game is big as well. This guy is a weapon, and you're seeing that here early. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. To the ground. He's got it again. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. This defense might be reeling after those last two and now facing first and goal. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Touchdown, Owls! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. I really like that drive for this offense. Putting last week behind them, putting the drive together, showing some explosiveness. This offense really put last week behind them. The poor performance last week, starting off with a bang here today. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. On the run from inside his own five. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So Tulane's offense has its first opportunity of the day. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking him up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that at cornerback that could do that in a game like this, but this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. Crosses the 30 to the 31, a six-yard game. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Thompson to throw. Feeling some heat. That quarterback was doing his best. Houdini escaping in the backfield, but the defense finally gets to him. Man, this home crowd was so jacked up, so excited to finally get the football after giving up points on the first drive and having to be quiet. Now they're again. How about the defense coming in here, shutting this crowd up early and doing their job? Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Rice has the ball back and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. 
One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. It's reverse. Stopped at the 46-yard line, but give him 10 yards and the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. game. Offense. Offense. So frustrating to see an offense lose track of the play clock and pick up a penalty like that. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Takes the handoff. It's Connors. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. It's third down, and the line to gain is the 36. Trying to get to it. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. Well, that defender just was better in his one-on-one -on, -one on the pass rush. He does a great job beating the offensive lineman to get to the QB. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Wanted to make sure not to give them a chance for a return as it goes out of bounds. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he'll get it up to the 38, it'll be a first down. He had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. They'll put the tight end in motion. They're getting this guy lathered up. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Thompson wants to throw. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, quarterback went down behind center that time, and it makes you wonder as a play caller, against this pass rush, do you start thinking about maybe rolling your quarterback out and changing the launch point? It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Well, for this defense, finally, you're seeing pressure on the quarterback. They're outside the top 50 in sacks per game. They've been waiting to find some more consistent pressure to help them win games, and they're getting it in this game now. Three sacks on the day. They're just simply winning a better job executing up front the point of attack. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. Makes the quick grab. At the 45 on his way! Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. First down for the offense. The give to the single back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. From the gun, running back on the move. Got room at the 35. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Back to throw, it's Warner. A strike downfield. The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. 
The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Off the bootleg. Wants to throw it. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. You try to catch him off balance, maybe on the first down and goal right here, a situation where maybe you sneak in a pass, defense was ready, got the sack. Now, now you got to be a little bit more creative now that you got the negative play. The offense, I know you've worked this all week. you got to be ready to execute the red zone. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke, and he stopped for a short game. Third and goal, where the strong come through. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. They've swapped into the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Third and goal coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. Quarterback feeling the pressure, and down he goes at the 22. Yeah, how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting them on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure on the quarterback. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hash. Thought he had it and couldn't get it through the uprights. He missed it. And the margin remains at seven after the miss. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. Looking for a productive play on first down. The give to the back. Maybe picked up a couple, he's down at the 24. Picked up two yards on that last one, they need eight on second down. The lone back's got it. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. Slips through the line. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But, Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. What if I had told you this quarterback would be sacked at least five times in this game and yet still somehow would be winning? It's not normally how it works. you got to give the offense credit, because even though they've suffered some serious negative plays, They've still been able to make some good things happen. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Makes a move. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. They'll leave it with the lone back. 
The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. They make the tackle at the 33, but he's ripped off 15 yards and picked up a first down. Grab behind the line, it's Williams. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. Just had a solid pickup on first, now let's see what they've got on second down. The pull and throw off the RPO. Touchdown, Tulane! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Getting set for the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Week in and week out, guys. You never know what's going to happen in college football. Check this out. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Texas A&M. We'll circle back if anything big happens you should know about. It. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll do it himself. Breaks the tackle. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. It's a reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Gonna run it. It's Connors. Discards a man. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Getting some heat. Quarterback all over the place trying to make a play, but eventually he goes down. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks? That's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Looking for a block. It's Williams. He was working his way toward midfield, but they'll stop him at the 46-yard line. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Thompson to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. He'll try to do it himself. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He leaves it with the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. We'll take a quick break as we have reached the final two minutes of the first half. They've been running it, but now the pass. Throws for the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown, Green Wave. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching it. And 
I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they pay it off with a strike from 38 yards out. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. To the air on first down. Now he's going to send this one deep to the right. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming down. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Pressure coming. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. On the ground, it's Connors. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He's got great speed. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Thompson wants to throw. It's complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Feeling some heat. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. And the incompletion brings up a second down. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to him. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Third down conversions are a huge stat and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And this defense goes back-to-back -back sack, Jack. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Just about a half minute to play in the first half. It's first and ten. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. They're trying to get to him. They get to him as he throws. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. He's looking for a man on second down. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. That is now the seventh sack on defense. This offense cannot protect their QB. It doesn't matter if the defense is blitzing or if they're just winning one-on-one. -on -one. Seven sacks. That's just ridiculous. Clock still running. Almost certainly the last play of the half. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. They're bringing... That internal clock just didn't move fast enough, and they get him for a safety.
going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in New Orleans for a fun first half than you? And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside Yulman Stadium. Rice ready to kick off and get things started here in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Tulane has it back in the offense, coming out to go on the attack. They go to work in the third quarter with the lead, but they have had a little trouble keeping their quarterback upright. Yeah, and you, you have the lead, you're positive, but the offensive line coach is definitely going to be upset. And the offensive coordinator, listen, I don't want my guy getting touched. He's being productive, but give him some more time here in the second half. I think you can do that, too, offensively, by maybe leaving your tight end in to help block, maybe chipping with running backs and help these tackles out on the edge, because you're right. That pocket has been shaky, and if it continues to be that way in the second half, this could be a much different looking football. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. The give to the tailback. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Thompson to throw. Fires to the wide out. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And he was able to run through a tackle, and they finally get him, but not until he picks up the first down. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Coming after him. Quickly to the tight end. Important in the passing game that it's not just receivers doing all the work. You got to get running backs involved. You got to get your big fellas. You got to get the tight ends going too. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Brown. Tackled immediately after the catch. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. Running back searching for a hole. Finds a little bit of space. He'll get three out to the 15. The Owls come to the line in the hurry up. Looking to throw on second down. Got a man, it's Connors. And finally, a little production in the passing game. That has been sorely lacking in this one. Ball is at the 35, it's first and 10. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense. Oh, it's a reverse. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. Getting some heat. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. The name of the game is protecting your quarterback. He can't have success or complete passes on his back. Let's get the quick passing game going, maybe hand the football off. But whatever we're doing, let's go the opposite direction.
Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The Tulane offense headed back onto the field. That last one looked like a back-breaking drive, David, but they ended up punting. Yeah, they put some plays together, put some yards together, but the most important stat is putting points on the board. And this offense has to finish, Jesse, when they get across that 50-yard line and start getting in scoring territory. Yeah, there, there was some good execution, no doubt about it, but I think it's the critical down and distances, third down in particular. They've got to be better moving forward. They've crossed midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. It'll be a draw. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. How about that elusiveness? He's got space. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the chains for the first down. Looking to pass inside the red zone. If the quarterback's a little more on target there, maybe they hook up, but it's an incompletion. The incompletion brings up a second down. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. It's complete. He'll get it all the way down to the eight-yard line, and the defense is feeling the heat. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Unleashes to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Green Wave. They are seizing control and taking away hope as they push out the lead in this Week 8 showdown. You know, quarterbacks and receivers, they develop confidence and chemistry as the game goes on. These two right now are definitely on the same page. They'll try to tack on two. Thompson wants to throw. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misconnection, it's second down. He's looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. A six-yard pickup that leaves them with third and four. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Running it back, it's Williams. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. We'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. At midfield, he's got room. Hit the afterburners, kid. That is just a gargantuan quiz. He has it all the way down to the 12. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. After that huge play right back at him on first and 10 from inside the 15. Quarterback on the keeper. It's loose. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. Operating in the red zone here on second down. To the ground with the back. 
He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. This offensive scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Slams it ahead. Touchdown, Tulane! And the pummeling has started. Well, 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 somebody's been doing their box jumps. Wait, no, I am getting up in the air. Hey, listen, I'm taking a picture of that, saving it. That might be my screensaver on my phone, that vertical way up in the air. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Mississippi State is ahead early in Stark Vegas, but that's not exactly Dak Prescott out there. This game is a long way from being over. They're up by eight over Texas A&M. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Guys, the quarter comes to a close, and Tulane has the lead here. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. This offense has a second down play. To the air, it's Warner. It's complete to the right. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws to the tight end. Got his man! Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. And the Owls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Spits it out to the back. Grabbed over the middle. It's Connors. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. On second down, he'll let it fly. Looking toward the sideline and a nice job to keep his feet in bounds. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Lofts one high and deep. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. No sign of the punt team as they will go for it and try to move those chains. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Pocket starts to collapse. It's a sack, and what a stop for this defense to turn it over on down. He had nowhere to go with the football. Fourth down, you know he wants to make a play. I'd like for him to throw it up, to be honest. Try to give somebody an opportunity to make a play. Who cares if I throw a pick? It's fourth down anyways, but couldn't find anybody to get the ball off. Defense surrounds him, gets him to the ground with the sack. They'll get this drive started from their own 45-yard line. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went with the running game on first down. Now back at it. They go to the ground. Still running at the 40. And there they go again with another huge gain on the ground. He's finally run out of bounds. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Trying to pound their way forward, he picks up a couple to the 31. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Used to play fake, now to throw. He makes a grab. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. Snap it to the back. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. And after getting it right on the edge, they'll try to punch it in on third down. Trying to pound their way in. Touchdown, Greenway! 
and the stomping has commenced. They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. And he did get that extra point through the slippery surface, no problem. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. He'll start this drive firing. Pressure coming. He's going to run it. Oh, the ball's on the ground. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Fumbles are great when you force them. And you're always thinking about it as a defensive player. Man, when the weather conditions start to come down, it starts to rain. And you know that ball's a little bit slick. And you know more runs are coming. Really try to get to that football. Nice job getting the football out, falling on top of it, forcing the turnover. Guys, this offense will go back on the attack. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Unloads to the wide out. And that one's incomplete. Line getting set on second down. Brings up second down. Finds his man, it's Brown. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Tulane looking to put one on the board from the red zone. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. They'll go to the air on third and short. Got his man quickly. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. Give the defense a ton of credit in this sudden change situation. Their offense just coughed it up. And this defense comes out, they go three and out and force a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. This one feels as if it's starting to get away from them a little bit, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, there's a lot of teams in college football at this point that would just quit. So, David, we're going to find out a lot about this team right here. Yeah, just running out of opportunities. You, you give opportunities away like this, you're trailing. Every possession is going to be important from here on in. Got him down. Field. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Wants to throw on first. That's caught. It's Connors. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. On second down, looking again to throw. Finds his man. It's Connors. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The Owls are on the move. He wants to throw it again. Fires to the wideout. And he just overshot his man and threw it out of bounds incomplete. Clock is under four minutes as they come to the line for second down. Looking to pass. It's Warner. Feeling some heat. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Trying to get to it. They've got the play bottled up. Fumble, it's out! And the defense jumps on him. They get that turnover. 
There is little that warms the heart of a defender like a strip sack, even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away, use those long arms to create the turnover. Tulane has it back in the offense coming out to go on the attack. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. Couldn't find the lane, a pickup of one to the 31. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Right back to it. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Now look what I found. I'd say that's a stroke of good fortune. The offense keeps it. Man, those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep it in that quarterback. Tulane forced to send out the punt unit. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. and that's where the offense will set up shots. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play and we'll take a break to check him out. Rice has the ball back and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that, but they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this, this was open if we had just run the details to the right route, hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it a game of inches, David, but I'll say this, if you're on offense, don't go on social media this week. It ain't gonna be pretty after this performance. You've gotta lock in, you gotta take the week of practice very seriously and find those positives that you can build off, David, you're talking about. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. From the red zone, looking for a man. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. A shot toward the end zone. And it's caught for a touchdown. They're going to play this one through to the end, but this is pretty much window dressing. This game is almost certainly decided already, but the good news is for the next game, guys still flying around, still playing hard, not really hanging their heads. Long season. This is early in the season. Still got plenty of time. Still find out which plays you like, which you don't. And you keep running them, keep getting better at them. So use this as practice. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Mississippi State is in serious trouble right now. I'm not sure some folks won't be asking for a refund on their NIL investment. A putrid performance in Starkville. They're trailing by 19 to Texas A&M. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Might as well give it to him again. At the 40, there he goes. Stopped at the 42, but he got 15 yards on the play. It has been said that the obstacle is the way, and this obstacle is now back-to-back -back losses. Back-to-back -back L's. Um, it's not the end of the world, though. I still think there's time for this team to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to finish the season strong. It's not over yet. Two bad weeks. Flush it down the toilet. Refocus the mechanism. We're ready to rock and roll next week. It just needs to be about finding a way to win a game right now. In all likelihood, 99.9% .9 chance the college football playoff now is not a possibility anymore. That's okay. Let's worry about winning a game. Let's go back. Let's watch the film. Let's get back to being who we are so we can get the ship right. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.